Hi, I'm Ricky, but you might know me as the Art Ninja, and I want to share with you a great new project from Place to Be's Art Room team. It's called Portals, and it's about finding helpful ways to think about and go through change. The project will get us thinking about some of the changes, big or small, in our lives. We will create a portal, imagining what it could look like and where it might lead. Some of you may be wondering, what is a portal? Well, a portal is basically a door, a window, a tunnel, or a passage leading us from one place to somewhere new. It doesn't have to be as literal as a door or a window. It can be as wonderful or as magical as you desire. Creating a portal can help us understand what it is like to go through change and step into a place that might be unknown to us. Leaving something old and entering something new, like going to a new year in school, can often leave us with many different feelings. We might have a strange mixture of thoughts and worries. It can be difficult, even scary sometimes, but it can also be exciting and super fun. Know that it is okay to feel whatever it is you are feeling. With this project, we can find helpful ways of showing and thinking about our feelings. Let's start to imagine the portals we're going to create. When I'm trying to picture something, I like to get comfortable and relax. Sometimes I close my eyes or I'll look at pictures such as the ones that are on screen now and start to imagine things. You can go at your own pace. Feel free to pause or play back any parts of this section. Make sure you are also comfortable and close your eyes if you would like to. Imagine you are standing in front of your portal. What does it look like? Do you notice any special features or decorations? Is it easy to find or is it hidden? While you are still in front of your portal, imagine reaching into your pocket and finding three things. What might they be? Special keys, objects, letters, words, numbers, or a code. Maybe they are useful for opening your portal. If not, then perhaps they could come in handy as you go through your portal and step into the imagined world behind it. What happens when you step into your portal? Before entering the imagined place, do you fly, skip, run, hop, or walk across a field, forest, river, or sky? Maybe you travel forwards or backwards in time. 